so welcome to my allotment. Today I'm going to be doing you a tour. It's June and lots and lots of things are happening at the moment. Everything's growing really quickly. We've had lots and lots of rain and it's really, really exciting. So I'm going to be showing you what my allotment looks like. And prepare yourself. It's not perfect, so yours doesn't have to be either. So if you've not already subscribed to my channel, if you can please do so, so you'll get lots of helpful hints and tips all throughout the year for my home garden, my allotment and also my home kitchen. Now my rhubarb is bursting back into life again and between myself and my father-in-law we've got through quite a lot of rhubarb here but it's all coming back. I mixed it with some other fruits at the weekend, it was absolutely glorious. The artichokes are doing really really well, I've harvested a few off myself and when I found the black fly on there and I just like put some gloves on and just like really rubbed it off the stalk, it's actually really worked. Um, so no need to spray, so how cool is that? Um, so all the other things are coming on really well. The um, Bambi apple tree is getting a little bit overcome by the um, by the artichokes. I'm going to have to do something about that. Um, so that's a job for me to be getting on with. But it's looking really quite lovely. Um, the pear tree as well. You can see lots of lovely little pears forming on there, which is really really awesome. So I think they're getting bigger every time I come up here. So as we move down, so the raspberries. You can actually see proper raspberries now. You could kind of barely see them when we were looking at them last time I did a tour, but actually you've got proper raspberries there, look. So hopefully, come a month or so, we'll actually be eating them, which will be absolutely fantastic. Blackberries, exactly the same. They're looking absolutely fantastic. Proper little blackberries there, obviously nowhere near ready to eat, but at least they're all forming. Um, I've got a really lovely blackberry. They're the really nice big ones that you get in the in like you, that you would you know you would pay good money for to be fair. Um, and while the hedgerow ones are really really lovely, to get a nice one like this, they are really marvellous. I've got to say. Um, my gooseberries are doing really well. I still have yet to pick them, but I have covered them. So if you haven't covered your gooseberries, I would definitely recommend you do them because the birds will make light work of them if you don't. Uh, I've just put some leeks in. Um, I've covered them temporarily only because when you first put them in um, the birds or the squirrels or something might try and take them out which you really don't want so this is only temporary they'll only be on there for a week or two until they're rooted in and they won't be easily pulled out um, so if you've not got your leeks in I have got a video on that which will be attached to this so if you want to watch that you can and the onions definitely need weeding and if I'm honest they don't look great I'm not gonna lie but if I know anything about gardening you never give up on anything you just keep weeding it which I really do need to do and whatever I get I get it'll all be all homegrown so it'll be lovely come what may and these are my overwintering onions um, they can probably I can probably start using those if I want to um, they're not quite ready to to dig yet but rather than buy one in a supermarket I'll just pick one of the bigger ones and start digging that next this is the only spare bit of ground I've got now here so this is the last bit that hasn't been dug and got anything on it so I'm going to be digging that over the next few weeks and I'll most likely put some beetroot in there I'm going to get some Florence fennel um, or maybe I'll put some spring onions in there um, if anyone's got any ideas of what I could put in there then obviously please do let me know because that's my only spare bit of ground it's amazing how quickly it all fills up so this area here has got some carrots in it which have just started to germinate. I don't know if you can see that through the netting there. So they've just started to germinate, which is absolutely fantastic. I cover those with really fine environment because of um, the carrot fly. Um, and it really does work. So if you've not got environment and you have an issue with carrot fly, it's definitely worth the investment. I've never thrown a piece of environment out. It really is very durable indeed. And over here I have, and you can see I definitely need to weed as well, but in between the weeds we have some lovely salad bowl lettuces, which it won't be really long and I can start picking those. I've got a beautiful row of beetroots there, which is absolutely fantastic. I've also got some parsley, which has germinated in this row here. And I've also got some carrots which have germinated on the top bit there. Again, I do need to get in there and do a bit of weeding. There were no weeds. Uh, about a week or so ago and all of a sudden the rain has come and obviously the plants grow really well but as do the weeds that's one thing you can guarantee weeds happen to me even a, even a youtuber i can't stop them from growing unfortunately i just have to be on it and and weed them so the potatoes are absolutely like triffids now which is absolutely fantastic um i've got blooms on these ones these are my charlotte and I'm, i'd really i really want to dig these now <sighs> 
<laughs> but I probably should wait at least a couple of weeks. Um, but I really, really, really can't wait. So I'd love to know when if anyone else is growing potatoes and they feel the same way as I do and whether anyone's dug theirs yet. Um, they say you either have to wait for them to die off or two weeks after the blooms start to appear. And the blooms have only just started to appear. But I am really excited, I'm not going to lie. But I haven't dug them yet. So we'll, we'll, we will do and it'll be amazing. So I've got my my runner beans over here and they're looking quite good as well again lots of weeds what can i say it's normal you know um they're looking quite lovely um hopefully they'll start shooting up the canes next time you see a video but you have to be patient i went looking around the other allotments actually because i don't know about anyone else but i have a little bit like oh god i think it's not growing very quickly it's so frustrating oh i bet everyone else is doing much better than mine well actually i had a little sneaky peek around everyone else's allotment the other day and actually everyone else's stuff's about the same place actually so everything is normal it's just as a gardener we always get a little bit impatient wanting everything to grow a little bit quicker than we want it to so the dahlias are really starting to burst into life, which is absolutely fantastic. They're looking really awesome. So like I said, tomato feed is the best thing for those if you are growing dahlias, but we have them for cut flowers at home, which is lovely. I've put some of my squashes and courgettes out. So, so far, so good. Don't like to say no slug damage, no snail damage. Um, they've had quite a bit of rain and they seem to be holding their own, which is absolutely fantastic. I will be putting a few more out. Um, I haven't had time but again and they look I was thinking gosh they don't look that great but when I compared them to other people's actually they look the same as everyone else's so you just have to bear with you just have to feed them look after them nurture them and then you know in a, in a month or two's time they'll probably be like Triffids too so as we move up I've got my bright lights charred now this is something that I absolutely love because it keeps you know the leaves just keep coming so it's cut and come again it's absolutely fantastic this is covered only temporarily and the same thing with the leeks it's just the birds when I first put my child out last year they were absolutely floored by the birds I wasn't taking any chances so once I start looking a little bit bigger I shall take this cover off because it doesn't need to be covered anymore so if we want to take a look at more of my brassicas this um, cover that we did with the old trampoline is absolutely fantastic i do need to go through it just to check that there are no um butterflies getting in there and there's no caterpillar damage i can see a few leaves that are nibbled but nothing too major at the moment um but i will take a look just to make sure that nothing is is eating it more than i want it to um, and also the kale I can actually pick a little bit of that if I wanted to but I might leave it another week or two um, but if I wanted to I could have a few leaves off each one to make myself a meal and underneath here we also have some Calabri's broccoli which is absolutely looking fantastic and again the same thing there I can see a few of the leaves have been nibbled at some point I'll take the whole cover off I'll have a good look through it just to make sure nothing's attacking it and if we move round, I've got something quite exciting. I don't know if anyone remembers that I... We put a wildlife pond in, um, which is actually the old bottom of a barrel with an old top of, of a table. So that's our wildlife pond there. And we've also... I chucked a load of seeds down. Um, my father passed away last year and he left with loads and loads of seeds. And I didn't want to waste them because I hate wasting anything. Um, and I've always wanted to have a bit of a wild flower meadowy feel up here, but it's always so full of um, vegetables and edibles. I never have any space, but we decided that this little space here near the pond, we could do that. So I've randomly thrown loads of seeds down. And as you can see, loads have germinated. Now, some of them will be weeds, but I can tell that some of them definitely aren't. I mean, things like this are definitely sunflowers, I think. Um, I think those are definitely cosmos. Um, and their cosmos there and you can see little clumps as well so i'm pretty confident i can't exactly remember exactly what i threw down if i'm honest with you i had so many packets of seeds i thought i'd just make something really random and and see how it goes um, but that's doing really really well um, and lastly if we can just come up to the end of the allotment i've got my black currants which are looking really awesome as well and i will have to cover these really soon um, I saw someone else covered theirs the other day. Generally, the birds only really go for them really badly when they start to, to ripen. But that can happen quite quickly as the season goes on and you forget to. So I'm going to be covering those really, really soon. But they're quite 
taking up quite a lot of room, so it's going to be quite tough, but I will find a way to cover them, because last year the birds, it was as if they swept through. They didn't take everything, but, but they weren't far off, to be fair, if I'm honest with you. So I do really hope you've enjoyed the tour of my allotment. I'd love to know what you're all doing. If you've got any questions or queries, then as ever, please do put them in the comments and we'll do our best to answer them.